The nations are one of the most popular systems in Roblox games. It gives a way for the player to show appreciation to the developers. Surprisingly enough, there's not a lot of videos on how to create it from scratch. So today, I'll show you how I implemented the nation boards on my game so you can do it on your own. There are a lot of different ways on how you can model and design your donation boards. Since my game theme is OB Backyard style, I just decided to use a simple cube board and make it look like a stone backyard landscape. When creating the UI, I inserted a surface POI and a frame that takes the whole visible part of the stone, then added a header and a scrolling frame to let users scroll if they want to see more. I want to show 4 columns in the leaderboard, the current rank of the donator, the user's thumbnail, their name, and donated amount. So I inserted a template frame that holds the item data organized by a UI list layout horizontally, then 3 text labels for the rank, name, and amount. For the player thumbnail, I just used an image label. To make this work, I created a module script inside a server storage with a table of functions that I can call anytime. This way, I only need to change one script if I need to optimize something. For saving the player donation, I created a function called save player donation. I first get the user ID of the player to be used as the key in the order data store. Then in this part of the code, I have a utility function that checks if I have a budget to request an update async to the data store service. Until we do, we will keep on trying to save the player's donation unless the player lives the experience. Once we have a budget, we will continue updating the user data. Next part is handling the actual transaction. 